Exodus chapter 6. But Yahweh said to Moshe, Now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand he will send them out, and with a strong hand he will drive them out of his land. Elohim spoke to Moshe and said to him, I am Yahweh. I appeared to Avraham, to Yitzhak, and to Yaakov as El Shaddai, but by my name, Yahweh, I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenant with them, to give them the land of Canaan, the land in which they lived as sojourners. Moreover, I have heard the groaning of the people of Yisrael, whom the Mitzrites hold as slaves, and I have remembered my covenant. Say therefore to the people of Israel, I am Yahweh, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Mitzrites, and I will deliver you from slavery to them, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great acts of judgment. I will take you to be my people, and I will be your Elohim, and you shall know that I am Yahweh your Elohim, who has brought you out from under the burdens of the Mitzrites. I will bring you into the land that I swore to give to Avraham, to Yitzhak, and to Yaakov. I will give it to you for a possession. I am Yahweh. Moshe spoke thus to the people of Israel, but they did not listen to Moshe because of their broken ruach and harsh slavery. So Yahweh said to Moshe, Go in, tell Pharaoh king of Mitzrayim, to let the people of Israel go out of his land. But Mo Moshe said to Yahweh, Behold, the people of Israel have not listened to me. How then shall Pharaoh listen to me? For I am of uncircumcised lips. But Yahweh spoke to Moshe and Aharon, and gave them a charge about the people of Israel and about Pharaoh king of Mitzrayim to bring the people of Israel out of the land of Mitzrayim. These are the heads of their fathers' houses, the sons of Reuven, the firstborn of Israel, Hanok, Palu, Hetzron, and Carmi. These are the clans of Reuven, the sons of Shimon, Yemuel, Yamin, Ohad, Yakin, Sohar, and Shaul, the son of Canaanite woman. These are the clans of Shimon. These are the names of the sons of Lewi, according to their generations, Gershon, Kahath, and Merari. The years of the life of Lewi being 137 years. The sons of Gershon, Livni, and Shimi by their clans. The sons of Kahath, Amram, Yitzhar, Hevron, and Uziel, the years of the life of Kahath being 133 years, the sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi. These are the clans of the Levites according to their generations. Amram took as his wife Yochaved, his father's sister, and she bore him Aharon and Moshe, the years of the life of Amram being 137 years. The sons of Yitzhar, Korah, Nepheg, and Zikri. The sons of Uziel, Mishael, Elzaphan, and Sithri. Aharon took as his wife El Elisheva, the daughter of Amminadab, and the sister of Nashon. And she bore him Nadav, Avihu, Elazar, and Ithamar. The sons of Korah, Asir, Elkanah, and Aviasef, these are the clans of the Korites. Elazar, Aharon's son, took as his wife one of the daughters of Putiel, and she bore him Pinihas. These are the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites by their clans. These are the Aharon and Moshe, to whom Yahweh said, Bring out the people of Israel from the land of Mitzrayim by their hosts. It was they who spoke to Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, about bringing out the people of Israel from Mitzrayim, this Moshe and this Aharon. On the day when Yahweh spoke to Moshe in the land of Mitzrayim, 
Yahweh said to Moshe, I am Yahweh. Tell Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, all that I say to you. But Moshe said to Yahweh, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips. How will Pharaoh listen to me? Amen.